Bow chicka wow wow. Hey folks, it's Finn. So this vlog is a little overdue because I wanted to talk to you about an experience I had at Trans Pride Brighton this year. As you know, I'm on this very exciting sexual journey right now. And the way I work my life is when anything is sent my way that is clearly there to help me on whatever particular bit of path I'm on, I try and say yes if I possibly can. And so this year, before Trans Pride, someone very kindly sent me a link to an event at a sauna in Brighton. And they are doing a specific trans only night once a month. And this one was to run in conjunction with Trans Pride Brighton. I had to give it a go, right? I couldn't say no to that. Forgive my naivety about saunas and about gayness and about sex, <laughs> because this is all pretty new. But from what I know of saunas, they are generally a hookup place for gay and bisexual men. In them, there will be a sauna, a jacuzzi, a couple of private rooms, some glory holes, a swing, um, all sorts of stuff basically for people to play. <laughs> it was quite nerve wracking to say yes to this. So why on earth did I say yes to this? Well, because it was a chance for an exciting new experience. I went in there with no expectations. I just really more than anything wanted to just experience being naked and being comfortable with being naked with other trans people. It was an absolutely wonderful night. It really, really was. I was so nervous walking in there. It, it felt really odd. I went on my own. Terrifying. So you go in, you pay your money, and they give you a towel. And then you go downstairs to the changing room and get naked. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Because it was a trans night, you were allowed to keep items of clothing on if you wanted. So if you wanted to keep a binder and some boxer shorts on, that was absolutely fine. I just decided just to do it, just to be naked. So I was in the changing room. There was a couple of people already getting naked and I was just a bit like... So I got naked, had my towel around me. And you come out downstairs and it's just pretty much pitch black because there are all these kind of private cabins and playrooms and what have you. And there's also like TVs with like queer porn showing and it was all just like really bizarre. It's so surreal where my life has gone at the moment. So I kind of followed this corridor down and I could hear voices and I came out and there was this jacuzzi and there was already some people in it. So I was like, right, it's just gotta be done. So I just whipped off my towel, hung it over the rail and kind of started climbing up the stairs and said room for a little one and got in. So there am I naked in a jacuzzi oh my god it was lovely i soon relaxed just chatting to people but then of course you've got to get out of the jacuzzi it stops bubbling every now and again so then you're like okay what am i going to do now so i thought right come on you know so this lovely person showed me around all the spaces and it's a really really lovely venue you've got downstairs you've got this sauna and this jacuzzi and like all the different playrooms and then on the upper floor you've got a chill out space and there's a cafe that does food and drinks tea and coffee is free there's a big tv and there's some sofas and, and that felt better once i knew where everything was a few people were going up for something to eat so i wandered up <laughs> it's so awkward there's a guy behind like this cafe thing serving food and drink and a lot of these people were just so comfortable in their nakedness I, they'd done it before i gather well, i'm just stood there with my towel <laughs> Can I have a cup of coffee, please? And he's like, oh, it's free. It's around the corner. Um, and then just like sat chatting to people in various states of undress. And it was just lovely. And as the evening went on, I just got more and more relaxed. And actually, by the end of the evening, I was just leaving my towel on the hangar and just wandering around, going between the jacuzzi and the saunas and chatting to people. It was really lovely. You know, the thing I was most concerned about, to be honest was that when I go to Trans Pride, people obviously recognise me and come and say hello. And I was a bit worried that it, the same would happen in the sauna, but people were incredibly respectful. And although people recognised me, nobody kind of 
was two in my face, which I'm really, really grateful for because I was so nervous and I just needed space to just chill out and just chat to people. So thank you for people for not kind of literally jumping on me. In terms of all the hookup areas, I don't know what happened there, whether later on in the night people did, but it certainly didn't happen when I was there. It didn't feel seedy or weird or any of the things that I might have once thought about saunas. It was just really, really lovely, really friendly. And there was just this beautiful moment when there was 15 of us in this jacuzzi and it, it's big enough for 15 people, but you are shoulder to shoulder and there's just 15 of us in there and it's just like, you all right? You all right? Oh my God. It was just lovely. Really, really lovely. Made you feel really welcome and it's just a really lovely affirming space to be with other trans people in various stages of transition. You know, some people had had top surgery, some hadn't, some had had lower surgery and some hadn't. And yet every single person looked their gender, you know, and that was just such an affirming feeling to know that if I can look at other people and see nothing but a man, a woman, a non-binary person, however that person presents, regardless of what their body has. It was just a lovely feeling to know that and just to feel really comfortable with my own skin, with with my tribe, basically. So I would really recommend it. If you're in Brighton, try this sauna. It's every month, I believe. I will put a link at the bottom to um, the trans night because it was just great. I really want to try another sauna and see if it's the same. I don't think it would be exactly the same because there was something so affirming about it being with other trans folk. But still, it's an experience I'd quite like to to repeat. And I'm not against the hookup bit. I mean, there are condoms and it's all it's all done very safe in there. They provide condoms and lube and all of that. And, you know, so again, as I've said in my other videos, as long as it's consensual sex between adults, it, it really doesn't matter, does it? As long as you're safe and it's consensual then why the heck not? But for me that night, it was more about just being comfortable with my body, with other people. And I certainly achieved that. So thank you everyone for making me feel so welcome and for such a great night. And to the organisers, this is just wonderful that you've done this. And certainly whenever I'm down in Eastbourne visiting my mum, I will be making sure it coincides with a sauna night and I'm going to go back and do another one because I didn't want to go. I had to get the last bus at like half 10 quarter to 11 and it goes on till three and I didn't want to go and I had to and it was meh but yeah fantastic night and I highly recommend so the sexual evolution continues more news next week take care of yourselves everybody have a great weekend bye bye